G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, in a previous video I showed uh, this Tensegrity model that I knocked up and uh, it turned out really good. It's called a Tensegrity table, but it's really like a little ornament thing for the for a shelf or whatever and it's um, it's amazing how it does its its balancing act it looks pretty cool and it's always a, a interesting to see people's puzzled look on their face when they see one of these to sort of how the hell does that work anyway so I made that one out of some scrap stainless steel I had laying around and some home cast aluminium for the for the two discs didn't cost me anything virtually to make and a bit of fishing line and where you go anyway I thought that was pretty cool and I just made that by copying one that was for sale on eBay I just used the same style but I did it in my own fashion and uh, it turned out quite different but the principle the basic design was fundamentally the same so anyway, I've decided to try another one so I'm working on it at the moment so I'll show you where it's at right now these are an ideal thing to play around with because you just pick a, a design from where you can find it and just do your own variation on it so this is one that I got which I think is a, uh, it's a Lego or something like that it's made out of plastic originally with some little metal chains, well plastic chains so I thought yeah that's a cool design this only uses three chains or three supporting wires so I'll replace the chains with fishing line the same as I did in the last one and I've got most of the bits done, in fact I've got, I've got all the bits done so this is going to be the centre bit this will replace that bit there and once again we've got home cast aluminium and um, came out fantastic as usual a bit of stainless steel and the whole thing's adjustable it's got a little three mil um, grub screws and this is going to be the top section this will be the bottom section and I've got a piece of square section steel which is currently been painted and is drying and that's red colour and that will form that intermediate bit so I've really got all the bits I need and yeah it's all done it's all simple it's all simple turning I'll move it off of that so you can see how sort of it would go together and it's just a matter of now assemble it. You can see there's not a lot in it really. And this is the vertical, which is still got to have another coat of paint. So that will go in like that. So you can see how the thing's going to go together. Should look pretty cool. So yeah, I've got to wet and dry this tomorrow. Give it another couple of coats of paint, just using pressure pack. So once again, the whole thing will cost me bugger all to make. So if you do these jobs, this is where these little sets of grub screws you can buy are really good, not very expensive, and you can use them for, you know, locking stuff on. And the same thing with the little sets of um, Allen headed bolts. These are these are four mil. I've got three mil as well. So uh, once again, if you've got the bits it's easy to do the job and it's easy to get the bits and just be ready to go so once again it's not difficult anybody could do this you don't necessarily have to even have a lathe but of course with a lathe you can you know broaden your horizons a bit more and yeah so anyway next thing is to put it together once the paint has been done and we'll see how it turns out Okay, so we've got the bits, now it's a matter of put this together. So,
we're getting there. It's getting very close. Grab you. Really well spot on. <laughs> Amazing what you can make me out of a bit of rubbish. Wow. Well, we've got it worked out pretty well. Pretty bloody well. <laughs> that's awesome, isn't it? You gotta admit. So that's homecast aluminium, stainless steel, stainless steel, little grub screw in the top so that arm um, can adjust in or out. But I Got it pretty right just just by looking, eyeballing it. This crop top piece also is held in by a little grub screw on three mil, and you can rotate that. And once again, all of the fishing line is held in place by one mil holes drilled through with a three mil grub screw going through. That's all you need. So the end result is pretty cool, I think. That's fascinating, isn't it? Really something. So I just made a trim the fishing line off, and she's ready to go on the shelf. And on the bottom, I've recessed the, the hole, so you snip off the fishing line. close as you can and then any little bit sticking out will just lay on its side in the tapered hole so it just it just uh, you know gets it out of the way basically so there you go anybody can build one of these you saw how I did it and the end result is as good as I'm going to hope for. It's all pulled in correctly. And uh, yeah, got the balance point where it should be. Everything's pretty much spot on. So there you go. It just shows what you can do from a drawing or a photo. You don't need plans, and at the end of the day, you turn out something like this that will undoubtedly mystify your friends and look pretty damn good on the mantelpiece as well. All right, I hope I've, hope I've inspired you to uh, have a go, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers.